Yesterday, the Burbies High School, Burbies' oldest secondary school, held its annual graduation ceremony. Narima Ali reports. Education plays an important part of our lives. An average person spends about 13 to 20 years in education facilities furthering their studies. Yesterday, the Burbies High School held its annual graduation ceremony at the school's auditorium. Present at the event were the graduating class of 2017, parents and other family members, teachers, the guest speaker Mr. Ivla Lloyd Griffith, the motivational speaker Ms. Ava Maria Lindy, Ms. LaRose on behalf of the Department of Education, and other special invitees. Mr. Griffith, Vice Chancellor of the University of Guyana, in his address to the students, told them that they must portray three important things in life, honesty, excellence, and respect. Value number one is practice excellence at all times. You can't want to have excellence by only having a one-off, a one-time. You've got to have it. So, I will say to you that what Aristotle also meant is that you've got to be an habituation of in the habituation of excellence, not only in one element of your life. You can't want to be an excellent student only in the smallest classes. Your success potential is going to be enhanced if you don't simply allow graduation at the high school level to be the alpha and the omega. Find an opportunity to build on what you have by going to the next level. Technical Institute, University, some certificate program that allows you to harness the knowledge and the experiences you have learned here and set the stage for really having those dreams come true. He also awarded the top student and the second best graduating performers with tokens from the University of Guyana. Ms. Ava Maria Lindy, CEO of Metro and the former student of the Burbies High School, was the motivational speaker at the graduation ceremony and delivered the charge to the graduating class of 2017. She expounded on the importance of growth and psychological development that has to do with how to handle situations in life. A plan for growth requires you take these four actions. One, set aside time to grow. For 13 to 20 years, depending on how long you plan to stay in school, the education system challenges us to learn. Two, we need to identify our growth areas. Choose to grow in areas of your strengths and not in areas of your weaknesses. Three, find resources in your area of growth. People keep a poker close to the fire so that they can start the coals and keep the fire hot. In the same way, stay close to passionate people who stir up your curiosity. And four, apply what you have learned. The whole exercise of seeking knowledge is fruitless unless you can find a way to apply what you've learned. Ms. LaRose, the education officer responsible for secondary schools, made her address on behalf of the Department of Education. So on behalf of the Department of Education, I wish to extend congratulations for making the region proud once again. Top of the efforts of the teaching and support staff to make students of Gordon's High School work hard, wonder, question, have respect to take responsibility. They did so and they know what it is to work hard. They can succeed in life with all that they want to. The top student of the school for CSEC 2017 is Reba Bisnott, and the second top performer is Denisha Leach. Trophies and medals were also awarded to the top performers in each categories.
Theater Arts Department, then took the opportunity to say the final goodbyes to the graduating class of 2017 with a dramatic piece. <laughs> The graduating class of 2017 at the Burbies High School has completed their secondary level education and most of them are looking to further their studies. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.